Welcome to another do-it-yourself tinkering episode. So this is 2011 or so, six years I have this Denon headset for iPhone and such. Unfortunately the contact became loose the other day and I thought it's too nice to throw away. So I thought I repair it here. I got an extremely cheap 1299 low quality no name headset and the nice thing is it comes with an adapter for Nokia phones. And I thought I can give this to someone who doesn't care about quality so much, who is losing iPhone headsets every other day. And cut this adapter in half. And solder this to the Denon headset as a temporary repair solution. In Berlin I actually have this 4-pin TRS connectors in stock. But obviously it's not as easy to get them here. And of course each Weekend or summer getaway is not complete without some proper do-it-yourself tools, so look what we got here. Some cheap soldering iron, cheap multimeter, some solder. This is not ideal. I used it for the electricity installation here. We will see. This is also why I don't like and don't want to have an iPhone without headphone jack. Because even if I would not repair this here, I could get the cheap replacement for it. 12 or even 9.99 but in Berlin I have plenty of other quality headsets anyway um, and I don't I don't want to buy another luxury uh, headset here and also the things are too nice to throw away um, it still sounds fantastic six years later it's also caring about the environment a little bit of course this is a small piece but even with who laptops or cars and, and so on you can obviously also repair things and, and fix things yourself so this is what we are going to do here and uh, not sure how it turns out with this. Not the ideal equipment but uh, we will see. Extra 2.5mm connector for Nokia. Okay, Nokia we don't have but it's a connector. So I will cut this in half. Maybe I have a use for this later in a year or five. for this task. Quite some quality plastic though. Actually this is quite some robust quality rubber. No surprise it lasted that long. Okay unfortunately unfortunately the threaded uh, wires will be a pain to solder. I know them already. It would actually be easier to remove the whole plastic instead of trying to solder this. I also want a little bit that in the Denon they used four uh, signal wires and still some ground shielding which is not really shielding because it's running quite separately. Interesting design choice. But yeah, this will be a total pain to solder. At least it cuts quite nicely so I hope there's a chance to solder this directly to the connector then. I cut it all the plastic away so we have a quite bare four pin TRS connector. Obviously it's much easier if you order a brand new connector, but Tio Mallorca I don't have the luxury to, to find the shop or order a single and so spending 12.99 for this to cut this away was easier and then we have a cheap backup in the house for someone who needs a cheap backup. Okay, let's try this. So this no-name soldering iron that I brought last year from a construction store sucks majorly. I realized this already last year, so let's see how this shitty soldering will go. It's plugged in a minute and barely warm. 40 watts. Buy something better if you can. We also still need to measure which wire is which of this. This is blue, black, red and green. What this is? Very small wires. I still wonder what this uh, round. So this was some I think 100 euro maybe, I don't really remember, maybe more, six years ago, Denon headset thing and why can they not use a, I'm not sure if it's seeable here, this ground is not really shielding around, it's, it's a, like a single thread. In my opinion they could really use a slightly better cable. The soldering iron is a pain. So it's nearly three minutes and it's just getting a little bit warm, it's, I wish I... In the office we have such a nice soldering iron in the middle now. Oh, it's melting, it's melting. 
Hmm. What would I give for some good old leaded soda now? Not really sticking much. It's indeed this shitty fabric. Ah, solder on. I think better than some sea breeze mix with some solder. At least in the meantime the solder and iron reach the operating temperature. Um, I'm good that it's a vintage table. Don't do this on a good table. <coughs> Then we need to also measure our resistance to the So if I would design this, I would probably have black as common ground. Let's see what Denon has done. Blue is 40 ohms. Okay. Hey, you want to see this, don't you? Okay, time to show. So, blue. Blue. <coughs> don't tell me they use this source. Okay, let's, let's measure the shielding first. Okay, it looks like the shielding is not connected with anything as I expected. Then let's hope they use black as common ground. So black to greenish, 20 ohm. Black to red, blue. Yeah, come on. Am I holding this right? Hmm. Some totally creative Japanese color coding. Actually, what could be the problem is maybe the loose connection is earlier here already. So I finally figured it out. Actually, it turns out what I thought is shielding was not only shielding. There was a yellow, uh, yellow or light orange hiding inside. So it's red and blue one channel, black and green the other channel. And I assume this shielded yellow, orange, whatever, and the microphone button. It's of course really a pity. In the few headphones I opened so far, I've never seen something like this. It makes the soldering job at the connector, of course, a total pain. And normally you would think they already join this uh, ground and uh, signals here inside. Then they only would have four, and now we have six wires to solder on the jack. So this also means we have to solder three grounds on the common ground pen. This will be the most shitty job to solder. So. Tip is left, left, right, ground, microphone, I think. Ground is here, microphone is here. Oh, what a shitty piece of shit. So, red and red and blue it was. So, the tip is one. Red and blue. So, the next is ground. So, then it is all of us on the together. Yeah, out, out, out. So I actually managed to uh, solder this uh, piece of shit together. It's a total shit job and I should certainly not zoom in here given the many and fabric and force wires. Um, this is only proof of concept. Back in Berlin I would need to repair it much nicer unfortunately. I did not expect that it has such kind of cable setups. Now I'm going to check if it even works. So unfortunately the, the right one got loose already. If I press it in, left and right work. Given the many cables, of course, the question now is if the left and right face is correct. Also, the remote control does not yet work. So it's certainly doable. The cable makes it a total pain in the ass. And unfortunately, you probably want to think twice whether you want to do this yourself. So at last, all the soldering joints are good enough for this fully working. Even the remote works now. I also found out how the soldering works a little bit better. So, as you can see, the soldering is quite gross. But uh, it's enough for now for the first prototype in Berlin. I will resolder this with a brand new TRS connector. And um, I found it solders much better if you remove this fabric threads out of it. Uh, it's a little bit pain as well to peel these fabrics out, but without the fabrics the soldering joints become much better. So that's it for this repair video. I hope you learned something and enjoyed it. And I hope to see you soon for the next video.